I'm an educator who moved to Bowling Green 13 years ago to work at the university. I believe in building communities where everyone is welcome and treated fairly. But as a lesbian, I know that not everyone has that experience in our town, which is why I have chosen to spend a good portion of my personal time over the last two years to work to make our community a place where my friends, my neighbors, myself, and the students I work with can thrive and feel safe. A lot of voters I talked to at the door started out not believing that unfair treatment happens here in Bowling Green, but the sad truth is it does. It's a silent problem that happens to people I know, and because there is no remedy, those who have experienced this type of unfair treatment are afraid to come forward to tell their story, afraid that they'll lose their current job or be kicked out of or denied housing again. My name is Kate Chapman, and I am a lesbian, and I believe that's why um, I lost a job in Bowling Green. Um, and it's been a while ago, but I worked for three years as an employee, and people were pretty darn happy with my job, and somebody decided that being a lesbian wasn't okay in that particular job, and I was forced out of it pretty quickly after that. Um, there was nothing I could do about it. I was pretty shocked. Um, I talked to an attorney. The attorney said there is nothing you can do about it. As a lesbian woman, as a Christian, as a friend, and as someone who studied and worked in Bowling Green, I believe that the most important thing we do every day is make a choice to acknowledge and respect and welcome every person that we encounter. That's why I've been working for the past six months talking to voters about these ordinances and been a member of the leadership team to make sure that the kind of unfair treatment that Kay experienced doesn't ever happen again here. There's a simple way to help. There's no way for us to go back in time to help those who have already experienced discrimination, but we as a community can make it better. On Tuesday, we are urging voters to cast yes votes on ordinances 7905 and 7906 to add protections against unfair treatment in housing, public accommodations, and employment.